Hey y'all, this is Beryl at Cajun Cooking TV and today we're making a shrimp au gratin that is inspired by one of my favorite dishes. It's the Tuesday special at Mike Anderson, so I'm going to try and recreate it here in my kitchen and show you how. And before we get started, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and put on that post notification bell so you know when we upload another awesome video. Okay, y'all, right here I have some beautiful ingredients. And anytime you see this little set right here, that means something good is about to happen. Something good. Mike gave me the thumbs up. So we've got some chopped celery, chopped and diced small red bell pepper. I love when he buys the red one. And then I got some chopped onion. It's a half an onion chopped. And I have a several little pods of garlic here. And I'll mince those in a minute with my garlic mincer. So for this to be super good, you have to start with a roux. And I've shown people how to make a roux for years. So we're gonna do it again. So I've got three tablespoons of butter going here right now, and then two heaping tablespoons of flour. That, folks, is how you make a root. So I've got my butter melted, and I'm sprinkling in flour a little bit at the time and mix it up. Kind of makes a little paste, sort of. Okay, so I've got this all blended. I'm just gonna let it go for like a minute, minute and a half, not that long. Cause when you're making a white roux, you don't want this to be brown as if I were making etouffee or making gumbo, that's much darker. So tonight it's gonna be a light colored roux. All right, I'm ready to put in the half and half. I'm just gonna blend this in. Oops, still using my whisk. And we're gonna let this heat up and come to a low boil and then I'll take it off the heat and then we get to melt some cheese. So th this has been going about 15 minutes. I got it to a boil. I'm, you know, periodically stirring it because you don't want it to stick on the bottom. And now it's gotten thicker. So I'm gonna add in a little flavor. I got a half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. Okay, and then I'm gonna sprinkle in a little salt in here. I'll put more salt on the shrimp part. So I'm just gonna blend this together and it's time to put in the cheese. Ooh, that looks pretty now with that nutmeg in there. <laughs> Already. All right. At this stage, and I've done this hundreds of times in my lifetime because Mike loves cheese sauce, <laughs> if anybody didn't know. Um, and so I make the cheese sauce, I turn off the burner because you don't want to continue cooking this, and then toss in your cheese and it melts here. So our white sauce is ready. I have one cup of shredded cheddar cheese, and then one cup of mozzarella shredded cheese. And we're gonna put it in here. And you can see, I turned the burner off, but it's still bubbling. Woo, this is gonna melt. It's melting already. Now I made this on the stove because Mike likes to do things old school and have me stand here watching stuff boil and wait. However, you can actually make this in another gadget that is certainly more efficient. And my preferred method, I have a cooking blender right here and it heats up so it makes my cheese sauce for me. And then I can be doing other things like chopping up my vegetables or watching TV, whatever. So if you want more information about that, um, 
you can find a link down to it in the comments below. So let me know, would you rather stay in here and cook on the stove top or with a cooking blender? Let me know in the comments. All right, y'all. So again, we're making a shrimp au gratin. It is going to contain shrimp and our beautiful Cajun Trinity. So we need to get that cooked so we can mix it in with our yummy white cream sauce. So I've got some butter, two tablespoons of butter and two, about a tablespoon of olive oil. I wanted kind of a mixture. So I'm gonna add in our chopped onions, just a chopped, a half of a chopped white onion is what I have here. I've got a red bell pepper And then I chopped up celery and I cut it as small as I could. Okay. I'm gonna let this go for about 10 minutes to get it really soft. And then I'll add in my garlic. Did you know Cajun Cooking TV has a cookbook called Cajun Cooking Made Easy? Purchase today to enjoy our full recipes, instructions, links on how-to videos, and much, much more. So it's been about 15 minutes. I'm letting this, um, the Trinity saute here. I had it on a medium heat and I wanted to make sure that the celery and the bell peppers were soft to my liking. And now I'm gonna add in the garlic. And then it'll start to develop that flavor. I can already smell the butter, yummy butter. And Mike, help me, and we rinse the shrimp. They're already peeled to make it easy for us. Oh, I did want to mention, here's a tip. If you don't want to do all the chopping of the vegetables, um, you can do like I do a lot of the times, is use the frozen pick sweet season blend. It comes in a 10 ounce bag, certainly okay. But today, we felt like making some beautiful trinity for you. All right, y'all, I'm gonna put in our shrimp, get these sauteed and that yummy butter and olive oil and all these seasoning. There we go. I'm gonna stir these around, cook them just two or three minutes, not very long, these are small. And um, we would just want them to be pink because we are going to bake this all together for like 25, 30 minutes. Hey y'all, I'm back and I got some cooked shrimp here and that yummy trinity. I'm blending it in with our white sauce here. It is nice and cheesy and thick. Ooh, I better turn this off. And while I'm doing this, let me tell you, this can be, au gratin can, is basically a cheese casserole, right? Right. And so when you go to a restaurant, it's typically in one of these kind of little au gratin dishes. I don't have the actual ones, but these are very similar in the uh, corningware that I have here. So I've done it in those. Um, I have another corningware dish like this that is bigger, like a big casserole dish. Or you could just leave it in this rock crock because this acts like a casserole dish as well. You can cook, you can cook on the stove and you can bake in the oven in it. So if you want a one pot meal, that's the one to go with. Okay, let's get this mixed up. Okay. Yeah, I'm about ready to put it in there. Okay. All right, so for you guys, I'm going to put it in our little dishes here um, so it'll be so pretty, just like at the restaurant. And this is a versatile little dish right here. I mean, you could just eat it just like this. Like if it was a party, I'd probably put this in a um, 
put this on its slow cooker stand. It has a slow cooker and turn it on warm. It's a hot dip with French bread. And um, Mike would actually just eat it like this. <laughs> He's not picky. So I'm going to fill each bowl and then we'll come back and tell you what the next step. Okay, y'all. So I've got these all plated in my little au gratin dishes on a bacon sheet. I sprinkled some Tonys on here already. And um, now I'm going to put some cheese. So we got some his and hers. These big ones are Mike's and these little ones are mine. So on his, he wanted some cheddar cheese on the top. So I will oblige him and put it on the top. Okay, I'm gonna put some cheese on mine, but not so much. Cause I'm dainty. Now I have my oven already preheated. I turned it on at the point we started um, cooking the Trinity. So it's on 425, it's ready to go. I'm ready to go. Mike is rubbing his belly back there. And um, so yeah, we're gonna put this in the oven for about 20 minutes till it's bubbly and a little brown on top. And there you go. Hey y'all, we're back and we've got some delicious shrimp au gratin. I don't even have to taste it to know it. It just looks wonderful and to top it off, I have this beautiful Italian knot loaf. It is soft, and I'm going to put some butter on it, and I'm going to use it to dip in my stuff, in my all gratin. I can't wait. Now, let me tell you, if you're at a restaurant and you order something all gratin, they bring you a fork, you tell them you want a spoon, because you want to get every little nook and cranny and bite out of that all gratin dish. Just telling you. Once again, we've made a beautiful dish for you. It's restaurant quality shrimp au gratin. If you like this video or you um, want to see the recipe, it's down in the description below. And be sure to subscribe, press that bell notification, and also give us a comment. We'd love to hear from you, and we'd love to know if you try this and how it comes out. And be sure to check out our next awesome video. God bless you and God bless America. <laughs> that too. It's a wrap. <laughs>